has different ways to cope with stress. For people who do not know where to begin, we're here for another talk with Coffee with Tea, so keep on watching. The goal for this video is to help you guys how to handle stress the way I would do it. Number one. Find the stress trigger or what is the reason that makes me stress. It could be something particular from work, for school, or could be a person. A person that stresses you out. Could be something that being a new mom. Once you've done that, here's the first thing that I do. I take a break from it. We need to take a break from that particular thing or person that causes us to be stressed out. What would I do? If work makes me stress, I do not want to be reminded of it. I do not want to think about it. You need to unplug. It doesn't just have to be at work, even from even in school or from the person that you want to get away from. And taking a break, it could be over the weekends or it could be a day. And, and come on, every week we have two days to take a break. Why it's very important to take a break? We have physical, we have mental, and spiritual. The first one is physical. You have to unplug from that stress trigger in order for your body to reset, in order for it to be able to proceed again. It takes a lot of willpower to do so, especially if you're obsessing over that stress factor. Go somewhere or isolate yourself. As long as you don't see that stress factor, stress trigger, you're off from a good start second once you've taken a break you've already resetted your physical being from it you've already take yourself or your physical self away from it do something that take care of your mental being go work out run binge watch go dance or knit anything <laughs> that makes you feel good Feel free to do it. You deserve it. You need it. Everyone has a different way to cope with stress. This is the time for you to do that. Uh, people cope with stress through shopping or they call it shopping therapy. But I would want to caution you on that. It's temporary and shopping therapy may actually have effects on you on the long term. For instance, the thing that stresses you out is financial. You going shopping will make your matters worse there are other ways to cope stress and also make sure that the things that you are doing temporarily do not affect you negatively in the long term what do i personally do i go hiking <laughs> I do not feel like going hiking, I go walk outside. It just makes me feel good to go outside and then you feel the fresh air, the fresh flowers or the birds humming. 30 minutes an hour to an hour. After that, I felt like an entirely different person. Do something that makes you feel good focus on that time live in that moment number three i pray or for other people meditate if you're the type of person who do not know how to do either or try to read a book about it i've already taken care of number one my physical being my mental we're moving on to the third piece and that is my spiritual being that's how i take care of my spiritual being it's it feels good to know that you're not alone in this journey even if you don't have friends you don't have family there's a bigger being out there guiding you all throughout this process and you are not alone and in my case i do not have a lot of people to talk to i do not have a lot of friends so i have to handle the stress by myself in my own terms that actually help me all throughout it do not feel bad if you say that if you don't have friends it's okay in fact 
you are all you need in order to keep moving forward. So once you're already went throughout this healing process of taking care of your physical being, taking care of your mental being, and last but not the least, your spiritual health, the last piece that you need to do is go back to the thing that stresses you out. First thing is you need to take a break from it. And then go throughout this three healing process that you have done. And eventually you need to come back. You need to come back to it and do something about it. Why? If you just let it go and if you abandon the thing that makes you stress, it's gonna come back every week, every day every moment if what makes you stress out is your exam in school you need to study or you have a big presentation that you need to do for work you have to prepare for it after you've taken the three steps you need to come back and prepare for it in order for you to not to stress out any longer most of the time people just do one two three step not solving the problem that makes them stress out and that just keeps coming back to the point that there is no point of return. The one, two, three steps is really my way to recharge. And then once I have done this, then I'm back at it again and conquering the world, as they say. Remember, for people who make it are not the smartest. They are the ones who simply keep going. So keep that in mind. If you want to talk more about anything else, any topics, or if you have any questions on how to deal with your day-to-day -day and specific problems, comment down below or send me a message. My purpose of this channel is to help you guys in your day-to-day -day lifestyle based on my experience. This is the least that I can do for this world. There are a lot of noises, distractions. I would like to have a community where we support each other and help each other through this journey called life. I hope that this three tips would help.